guys, welcome back to Schleich XOXO. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make something kind of like this. This is a feed bin, um, like to have your little feeds in, like or supplements, um, whatever you want to be in it. But so I already had this one, and it's kind of getting all broken up. So we're going to be redoing this one. And also, before we start today's video, remember to um, like and subscribe. If you subscribe, that really helps me out, and I really do appreciate it. So, yeah, let's get into this video. So, um, here's, you know, um, you'll need one of those paint pots from those painting kits, and you'll just have to take off all the hinges around and the different closing mechanisms and until you just get the top and the bottom. So, ideally, yours won't be painted like this. Mine's just painted because I'm repurposing it. Okay. So... We're gonna, let's go through everything you need. So you'll obviously need your paint pot. Um, you'll need your paint brush, the paint color of your choice, um, something to hold your paint, some type of glue. I'm using Elmer's glue, and um, markers. These part is optional. A printer and a computer, or markers and paper to make a little label. So um, today I'm going to be using a printer and paper be um, because that's easier for me because I can just size it and then yeah, that would be all good. But let's start. So the first thing you're going to do once you get all that done, I'm going to get you guys to take off your top bit. And um, we're going to start by getting our paint of choice. I'm going to be using the, um, uh, I'm going to be using acrylic paint. I'm going to use um, green grass. And this is just a standard acrylic paint, and you just need to do a lit, pour a little bit into your um, your thing that you put your paint in. Um, you don't need that much. A little goes a long way for this. So once you have this, you're gonna get your brush, and you're gonna just start painting a thin layer over it, and um, it's gonna take a few um, like layers. Um, to do just because it is plastic um, so um, sometimes acrylic paint doesn't stick that great on plastic so it's still going on like not that great even with um, me already having some paint on it um, especially just because it, it was red paint so it is quite like see-through but you're gonna keep on painting this you're gonna start with your top and you might want to let it like dry in between all of your strokes and it's okay if you make mistakes like I have already green paint on my nail it kind of looks good but not really so it's okay if you get paint in your hands if a lot of people get don't get paint on their hands or between their clips they'll wash their hands but I don't really care about that I just care about making the things look good so, we're going to put that down, and I just have some paper towel here that um, I can just wipe my nail off with, um, just because, like, I don't want to spread any paint to anywhere, I don't need it, and then it, my hands are just back to normal. And um, you'll just want to paint the top right now, because your sides are, like, you're holding, that's where you can hold. So, just, so ideally for this, you want long breast strokes. So it looks a bit better on camera than it does in person. In person, it's a bit more red, but on this, it looks quite green. So, um, yeah. And this is also going to be like a chatting video, kind of, too, when I'm painting. So, um, I've been watching Daisy, Daisy, Daisy Stalls, I think. I, or is it Daisy, Daisy Stalls? I'm not sure. Um, but... Um, she does model horses. Um, she quit Schleich a bit ago, but um, I would call my Schleichs model horses too, kind of, but they're just not as realistic. But um, she does some amazing um, barn builds, and hopefully um, you guys will be seeing not a video for that, but you'll see in a barn kind of like some of hers um, soon. Me and my dad, before I go back to school, um, might do like a little barn build um, out of wood, n not like plat, like not like um, cardboard. Um, so that might be a little thing. I'm starting to get some inspiration off of Pinterest, 
and I love how hurt Barn is, um, but I, we're wanting to start it as soon as possible, just because um, we have like not that long until school um, is over, so, or until like school starts up again, so yeah. But so here is this, this is probably like my third coat, and you can still kind of see some of the red on it, but that's okay, because I don't want it to be perfect. Um, I make a lot of these, and some of them are good. It's it's easier with darker colors. This is a bit more of like an army green, it's, or like not an army green, but like a lighter green. Um, so it's kind of seen through, like see through a bit, but that's okay. So just gonna paint all of it. You can like. It really just depends on how what, what you want to do for when you, you paint this. Um, I'm going to come back and like fix up the paint once it's all dry. So I'm going to put this to the side right now. And I'm going to just put this paintbrush in a little thing of water. So I'm going to be right back, guys. Um, I'm not wanting to cut my video in case something happens, but I'm just going to go to my bathroom and fill up this little cart, this little cup with water. Okay, I'm back. So I just filled this little cup up with water and I just have my brush in it to soak because I'm trying to keep my brushes nice. So my brush looks pretty simple. I just have a bit of green on the end so I'm going to keep on soaking it and like swirling around um, when I continue. So I'm going to put this up here. The next thing you're going to want to do is I'm going to get my computer up here. <clears throat> I just have a, a Chromebook, um, not sponsored. Um, but I'm just going to get this. I'm going to put it on my table. So I just have my Chromebook here. And, um, here it is. Um, I'm just going to search up, um, horse supplements. Oh, what did I have to do? Didn't notice there was any such stuff there. So it can just be any type of horse supplement. Okay, so we're gonna just go to images. You can do this on any sort of thing. I don't know. Oh, I put in horse supplies. Whoops. Sub supplements. Okay. Oh, it's not what I meant to do. So we're gonna find, you can scroll through all these until you find one that you like. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this performance one. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, just a regular one, cause it doesn't really matter if it has all this out, all this extra stuff around it, cause you're just gonna eventually cut it out. So I'm gonna go and get my mouse so it's easier for me to double click it. Um, to copy and paste it. <clears throat> so you will maybe need a mouse if you're um, doing this, but it really just depends on if you can double click or not. For me, it's personally harder to double click. Um, so you're just gonna go to save image as, and I'm gonna just save it here, and it should download it. And then we're gonna go on to a uh, Google Doc. Um, don't mind, this is um, a computer I use for school, so it just has some of my schoolwork on it. So if you see that when I'm going in and out, that's why. And then you can use a Word document or a Google Doc, um, and you're just going to go to from Google Doc, insert, and you're going to go image, upload from your computer, and then it should be the first one you see. And as you can see, it's really big right now. So we're gonna just shrink it down to whatever size you think will work. And even sometimes it's easy to have this and to put it out of the way to match it up there. 
So it's a bit small right now, so I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. And line it up. I think we're going to go a little bit bigger, and then that should be good. I think that's good. So now we're here. We're going to just go to the little printer button over here at the side. And you will need a color printer for this, um, and I'm very privileged to have that. So I'm just going to go print. So now we're going to go up to my printer, and we are going to go collect my thing for my printer. So I'm just going to go upstairs and just going to cover this camera because my family's in the still in the house. Okay, go up my stairs, and here's my printer. This is my desk that I did online school at. So I just have it here. Here it is. And now I'm just going to cover the camera again and go back down. If you hear background noise, um, my family's just doing stuff like my brother played his game. Okay. So, we got it. And we are just going to print it or cut it out. We can actually move the computer out of the way now. I'm just going to cut this out quickly. So I don't need to hold the camera at the same time or try to prop it up. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to, you don't want the actual bin. You're just going to want to cut out the logo and it is kind of hard to do this just because you have to do it so it's so miniature if it's your first time doing this I'd recommend um, doing like a more simple and not as intricate design with like all the little ribbons pop popping out because it can make it so, um, quite easy if it's not as intricate um, so like it you don't like do a very intricate design if you're not the best at cutting it doesn't kind of like ruin it but so here's our little design it is a performance one let's see if i can get it to focus oh there you go so it's just like oh come on that's better there but it's just a performance balancer so we're going to see how it looks on here, and it looks pretty good. So now we're going to get our Elmer's glue, which I have right here. You're going to open it. You don't need very much. A little goes a long way for these, and then you're just going to put some glue on the back. You could also like use hot glue, but hot glue can kind of burn through paper sometimes, or you can use like wood glue, really whatever glue works. Um, you can also like tape it if you would like. Um, Really, anything works. Um, this, my glue is not coming out very nicely. Um, I did go and get some new glue, so this is a new glue. But once you glue it all on the back, make sure you have it the right way. And you're just going to center it where you want it to be centered. And just press and hold it on straight. So. This Elmer's glue does take a little bit to dry. Um, so I'm just going to let this dry for a minute. So it looks really nice right now. Hopefully the green matches it nicely because um, you kind of want everything to match up nicely. Um, I'm probably going to be just redoing the paint on the top of this because it's not the best. But... Oh no, my label, you gotta be very careful. But that is that, as you can see, some of the red is showing through, but I'm happy with it. It looks nice, and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I'm gonna do another tutorial, and also if you wanna do some other things, I got this idea from Daisy Skulls, and if you wanna see some other things, such as feed bags, go to her channel. And yeah, so I hope you all have an amazing day. And um, I think I may be filming outside for a bit of a video. Um, but yeah, so I hope you all have an amazing day. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. 
Do you enjoy this and would you do it as a craft? Bye everybody.